Hi, my name is Rachel Horde, and today we're going to be looking at the early 20th century artist Edward Hopper and his painting, Hotel Lobby. Edward Hopper is an American realist painter and printmaker whose works are provocative and focus on common features of American life and its inhabitants. Hopper's compositions typically grant us an insight into his psyche. When he was asked what he was after in his paintings, he responded, I'm after me. Therefore, his works reveal and express his inner self and is, in part, why his paintings can be difficult to interpret even though they are rooted in reality. Hotel Lobby is not a narrative painting with an obvious theme and can be open to many interpretations. Hotel Lobby is an oil painting on canvas that is held in the collection of the Indianapolis Museum of Art. The painting shows four people in the lobby of a hotel. On the right is a younger woman with blonde hair and a blue dress, seated with her legs crossed and reading a book. On the left is an older couple with the woman seated in a red dress, coat, and hat. The man stands next to her, facing forward with a suit on and coat draped over his right arm. The desk clerk is hidden behind the reception desk, barely visible in the shadows. Many of Hopper's paintings deal with themes of alienation, transience, and brevity. According to Douglas Tallick in his essay, Waiting, Waiting, the Hotel Lobby, a hotel lobby is a semi-public gateway to a private place, a space of ambiguous identity, and an uncanny, modern space linked with the genre of the detective novel. A lobby can be a haven from the street, but it can also be a daunting place for those who wish to remain anonymous. It is usually a place of waiting, and a transient place where strangers gather but rarely speak. Reading is often used as a type of defense mechanism for people who are alone in public spaces, as we can see with the young woman reading. Edward Hopper and his wife stayed in numerous hotels during their travels, and in one interpretation of the painting, it suggests that this is a depiction of what they went through in their marriage. The couple on the left represents Hopper and his wife Josephine. However, in viewing their body language, we can sense a discord between the two. The older man is standing while looking straight ahead. Meanwhile, the woman is seated and looking in his direction. The man's coat is draped over his arm closest to the woman, creating a type of barrier between the two that suggests psychological distance. The inclusion of the barely visible hotel clerk to the scene adds a sense of voyeurism to the painting. A young woman's short sleeve knee-length dress and open-toed shoes give her a sensual quality, and it is unlikely that she is waiting to go outside, since the couple's heavy coats suggest that it is too cold to go out in a short sleeve dress. Her legs are turned towards the desk while her feet face forward, granting the clerk, whose face is hidden behind the lamp, a clear view of her legs. One explanation suggests that the clerk is acting as Hopper's alter ego, while the proper gentleman, who represents Hopper, is showing no interest in the young woman. The clerk secretly indulges his interest. Ultimately, Hotel Lobby is a signature piece in Hopper's work that displays his classic themes of alienation, transience, and brevity, and it invokes a sense of urban loneliness. Although there can be various interpretations to the piece, there is no denying Hopper's meticulous planning and grants us an insight into the mind of Edward Hopper.